Wow, $159 for this penny? Hold up. Where's Lincoln's profile? Why does the bust of America's 16th president look missing on the obverse side of this penny? Is it damaged? In a way, yes, but it's not your typical damage. This isn't a result of wear and tear. It happened right at the mint during the minting process. The coin was struck through a fragment, giving Lincoln's face a bizarre appearance, almost as if a burlap sack was draped over it. Because of the size of the fragment, the inscription, In God We Trust, isn't fully struck either. Just imagine, if this coin were uncirculated and hadn't been cleaned, it could have fetched even more at auction. One, two, three, four, five. Yes, you can count at least five fully struck steps on the reverse design of this nickel. When you add in the attractive toning and immaculate preservation level, this coin becomes worth significantly more than just five cents. This 1953 S. Jefferson nickel, distinguished by its full steps, fetched an impressive $16,800 at a Heritage Auctions event. The 1953 S. is known as one of the strike rarities within the Jefferson nickel series, making it especially coveted among registry collectors who focus on full steps coins. This particular piece boasts a satiny luster accented by a hint of light champagne toning. While moderate dye erosion is evident, causing metal flow lines in the margins, the steps of Monticello remain sharply defined. If you ever come across such a marvelous nickel, think twice before spending it. It's advisable to have it professionally graded to fully appreciate and confirm its value. Do you see these lines around Abraham Lincoln's profile? Believe it or not, they are the faint design of another president, Roosevelt from the 10 cent piece. This is an incredible example of a modern error coin a 1991 Lincoln cent that was struck on a 1991 P. Roosevelt dime. In U.S. numismatics, this type of error is known as a double denomination error coin. Graded in Mint State 67 by NGC, one of the leading third-party coin grading services, these types of errors are quite rare and highly sought after by collectors due to their unusual nature. The MS67 grade indicates that the coin is in superb condition with very few, if any, noticeable imperfections. This adds significantly to its desirability and value. The coin fetched $1,560 at a heritage auction sale, a testament to its rarity and the fascination it holds for numismatists. In 1984, the Denver branch of the U.S. Mint issued over 26 million Kennedy half dollars. Despite this large number, it's surprisingly one of the tougher dates in the clad Kennedy half dollar series. Most uncirculated specimens struggle to achieve even an MS-65 grade. In MS-66, these coins become even more challenging to find and are considered scarce. The rarity increases significantly at the MS-67 grade, where these coins are exceptionally hard to come by. According to the PCGS population report, there are less than 40 coins available in MS-67 or higher, marking it as one of the key dates in the Clad Kennedy Half Dollar series for collectors seeking gem condition pieces. Reflecting its rarity and high demand, an MS-67 specimen recently sold for $660 at a Stax Bowers auction. This exemplifies the value and desirability that certain grades and conditions can bring to a seemingly common coin. This vividly toned 1955 quarter dollar, which fetched an astounding $40,800 at a heritage auction in January, stands out as a prized collectible for both collectors and numismatic investors. The story behind this quarter begins with the Denver Mint, which, after a significant production year in 1954, struck notably fewer quarters in 1955 than the Philadelphia Mint, a rarity since 1950. This limited production drew immediate attention from speculators who closely monitored the monthly mintage figures released by the Treasury Department. Many 1955 D quarters were preserved by these speculators, and today, worn examples below AU about uncirculated are somewhat scarce. Most of the surviving quarters bear enough contact marks that they rarely achieve a grade higher than MS-66. However, this particular specimen stands apart by reaching an MS-67 grade from PCGS and carries a plus designation, highlighting its exceptional condition and rarity. The coin's aesthetic appeal is further enhanced by its striking coloration. Vivid amber, pistachio green, gold, and lilac tones adorn the left obverse margin, contributing to its eye-catching appearance. Complemented by a sharp strike, 
These attributes make this quarter a highly coveted item and explain its remarkable value at auction. This coin is not only a testament to the 1955D's rarity, but also a stunning example of what makes a coin exceptionally desirable in the numismatic world. This 1955 Lincoln Cent is a standout example of numismatic excellence, a sharp, carbon-free, superb gem with exceptional surface preservation and a satiny copper red mint luster. Graded in Mint State 67 Plus Red, it highlights its true rarity among its peers. The 1955 Lincoln Cent in such a high grade is already scarce, but when accompanied by a CAC endorsement, its rarity increases significantly. The CAC, Certified Acceptance Corporation, sticker indicates that the coin has passed a further review by experts who confirm it meets or exceeds the grade assigned, adding an extra layer of assurance about its quality and desirability. The exceptional attributes of this coin culminated in a re remarkable sale price of $38,400. This sale underscores the intense collector demand for top quality, rare U.S. coins, particularly those with the combination of an exceptional grade, stunning visual appeal, and additional certification by respected bodies in the numismatic community. Uh, such a piece is not just a simple scent, it's a prized artifact of American minting history. Here we have a spectacular 1969 S. Lincoln scent with a double die obverse graded in mint state 63 plus red by PCGS. This example showcases strong and prominent doubling, most noticeable on the date, the word liberty, and the phrase in God we trust, with the doubling directed in a southeast direction. This particular coin is a thrilling find for collectors as it represents a newly discovered example of this rare variety. The scent boasts an attractive, bright, even, pinkish rose mint color on both sides, with very few blemishes, most of which are minor enough to be overlooked without magnification. It truly stands out as a highlight of the current sale, offering collectors a highly significant and rare bidding opportunity. According to Stax Bowers, the 1969 S Double Die Obverse is an exceptionally sought-after variety with an estimated population of just 40 to 50 pieces, based on combined certification service statistics. This coin fetched a remarkable $72,000 at auction. Thank you for watching this video. We hope you found this information insightful. If you did, please consider hitting the like and subscribe buttons below. Stay well, and we look forward to seeing you in the next episode.